Welcome back, fashionpreneurs, and welcome back to Fashionpreneur On Demand, where we speak about all things fashion, entrepreneurship, um, building a business while being a digital creator. So if this title of this video, the thumbnail, or just fashion in general brought you here, then welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Hit that subscribe button and join my fashion empire. It's free to subscribe. Getting straight into today's video, we're going to be breaking down the top fashion businesses to be starting in 2024 and how to start them. So if you're a lot of women want to start fashion e-commerce businesses, but they really just don't know where to start, uh, how much it's going to cost, which one is going to be the less costly, um, how they're going to manage it, what's the upfront cost, yada, 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 yada. If you're one of those people, then this video is for you. So let's get into Depending it. on your particular circumstance and situation, some of these businesses that I'm going to be mentioning in today's video may be something that you may want to consider or may not. Um, but I'm going to be breaking down all of that. First business opportunity is going to be, of course, starting a fashion brand. That's like the number one thing, right? Um, starting a fashion brand, of course, can be extremely expensive, um, depending on, you know, what type of product you are trying to create from scratch. Manufacturing is the number one thing that is the most expensive, the designing and going back and forth. Uh, MOQs, depending on who the manufacturer is that you're using, they may have a particular MOQ that you need to meet um, in order to even work with them. And depending on that number, that may be a deal breaker for some people. So make sure you do your research, uh, finding the right manufacturers that are within your budget range. Otherwise, you're just going to be wasting time. Um you know, to, you know, sourcing those materials and clothing and all of that can be quite pricey um, depending on you know the fabrics and different things that you want to have for whatever particular clothing that you want to create so it can be a little bit more trickly a little bit more time essence and usually people spend about at least one to two years getting things down pat before they even launch so it is a more prolonged process starting a fashion brand but also very lucrative so the second fashion business is going to be a fashion rental service business so this is something that i, I was always actually definitely interested in doing myself but it seemed like it would be very tricky and a little bit more expensive and time costly if you've ever heard of rent the runway they are a reputable fashion risk fashion rental service company out of new york city where you pay a subscription to rent designer clothing uh, but the thing is, where do you get all these designer clothing, right? How do you contract with these people to get these expensive clothing to then be able to rent to other people for a cheaper price, right? A lot of people don't know how to do that. Um, and then the biggest thing with the rental service is the cleaning process, of course, because people are renting these garments, they're wearing them places, they're going to get makeup on them, they're going to get sweaty, uh, they're going to have pet fur on them, they're going to have odor in them. So how do you manage keeping these garments clean and fresh between your rental services? Because if you don't have the garment back, of course, you know, you're just losing out on money. So keeping learning how to keep them clean in between the rental to get more clients because rent, rent the Runway has a big warehouse cleaning department that manages all of these orders because they are a big company. So you have to decide, okay, how am I going to be able to run this store and do this? Am I going to have to hire a team? So it can be very lucrative, but it's also very costly because you'd have to hire a service to be able to clean these garments to make sure that you are staying on top of your rentals. So because if if the clothes are not clean, then you can't rent them. And then, you know, you're just losing that money. So they have to inspect it, make sure that there's no rips and tears, make sure that it's actually returned, you know, making sure somebody is keeping up with you know, what's going out and what's returning. Cause of course they rent for a certain period of time. They don't keep it forever. So you have to have terms and conditions in place for the people who return late and for the people who do not return at all. So you have to think about those things when you're running a rental business, because that's the risk of renting high end clothing. You know, people don't always return on time and they may want to keep it. So are you going to charge them full price if they don't return it? Are you going to charge them a late fee? What are you going to be? What are your terms and conditions going to be for the people 
who did not return these garments. So you have to think about all those things and that type of gonna cost uh, you more money when people are not returning the garments. So it's a lot of different departments and people that need to be in place. And this is definitely not a business model where you can do everything yourself. So moving on to the next brand, it's going to be an athletic brand. So if you want to consider a big time athletic brand, like similar to Fabletics, um, those brands do really well. Women love yoga, yoga pants and leggings and things that's very comfortable uh, where they can do yoga and Pilates and go running and things like that. That is a great industry to get in for uh, fashion e-commerce that never goes out of style. You can either go the cheap route at starting a drop shipping method or, you know, where you can find a vendor that's already offering the leggings and you can just add it to your store and then sell it to customers that way. Or you can go the more expensive route where you're actually, you know, going through a manufacturer and actually designing and customizing and picking out the fabrics of how you want your uh, athletic brand to be. So you can go the most cheaper route or you can go the more expensive route, just kind of depending on your circumstances and things like that. So, you know, drop shipping is always going to be more inexpensive and reselling than actually manufacturing and starting things. Anytime you got to start something from scratch, it's going to be more expensive than the other one. So moving on to the fourth business opportunity is something a little bit different, but I think it's definitely something that people would be interested in. And it's fashion tech solutions. And basically it's if you've ever heard of those makeup brands where people can actually try on the makeup, you know, on the website, you know, so that's an actual software that is developed into somebody's website where people can actually put the shade on their mouth and actually see how it looks, you know, test out the foundation and things like that. That is a um, software engineer that people have to work with to get that integrated onto their website, but it can also help increase customer ex shopping experience and help to increase conversions on your store. Because as you know, in the beauty industry, that is the number one industry where there's a lot of makeup that is lost because people order makeup online that they cannot try and then they get it and then you know it's not even really what they expected or it's not the right shade or the right tone or you know you want to decrease as much turnover um, as product loss as you can because um, this is a great technology feature to integrate into your store using a software developer, of course, to ensure that your users feel confident in their purchases, okay? Because we want them to feel confident in what they're ordering and not having to have to second guess whether something looks good or not. So that is pretty much the old sole purpose of having this feature integrated into your store. You have to wait and get their money back from something that they don't like. So fashion tech apps are a great business opportunity to get into. All right, you guys. So the next opportunity we're going to be getting into is starting a fashion influencer agency. Basically, this is the agency that represents UGC creators and influencers. So if you're an influencer and a UGC creator and you have representation, then that is your influencer agency that is representing you. They're the ones that are going to be marketing you and scaling you to bigger brands and bigger companies so that you can continue to get sponsorships and brand deals and grow your influencer agent uh, presence, of course, in business. And so someone who wants to start as a fashion influencer, that's basically what you'll be doing is working with creators and helping them to get more brand deals and sponsorships. Um, basically, the key to this is really understanding the fashion industry, understanding marketing, understanding how fashion influencers uh, work with fashion brands, really understanding people's target audience and, and engagement and seeing which industries they'll do better with, you know, um, campaign management, creating content creation, performance tracking, relationship management, getting started in this type of industry requires a lot of market research and really truly understanding the fashion industry and influence and marketing trends surrounding that. So definitely make sure that you are doing your research. And of course, you have to have a business plan. Uh, you need to set up your commission on how much you're going to charge the influencer for you know, getting them the brand deals and making sure that that's a fair cut for, you know, different types of influencers in different stages. 
you know, term, terms and agreements and contracts. So it's a whole business entity, uh, but it can be very lucrative. And as you know, the influencer and UGC creators in general is supposed to double. So, you know, this is a great opportunity to get into because content creation and digital creators are not going anywhere. If anything, they're just growing and getting more expansive throughout the world and online. So definitely look into creating a fashion influencer agency or you know, any type of influencer marketing agency if you choose to go that route. So this concludes today's video. That was the last fashion business opportunity. I hope that all of these fashion businesses ideas inspired you and just gave you a level of knowledge and creativity um, on, you know, what can be more expensive to start versus what can be more passive, what can be more demanding. You know, a lot of people know of these different types of opportunities, but they really just don't know how people get started. So I hope a little bit of this information kind of helped inspire you or cleared the air on how to get started and these different types of opportunities for 2024. By all means, all of these opportunities are not for everyone. You may only like one out of these few. You may like all of them. You may like none of them, but they are definitely um, high lucrative fashion business ideas to consider even in the future. Because like I said, the influencer market is digital creator industry is not going anywhere. So you can always consider that that agency, um, you know, subscription boxes are not going anywhere. So, you know, there's a lot of things that's evergreen that's really not going nowhere. So it would hurt to, you know, at least consider these ideas, you know, jot them down in your notepad and say, hey, I may do this for 2025 or 2027. At least you know of some ideas. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this video. Let me know if any of these fashion business ideas are something that you may want to consider for 2024 or for next year. And also let me know down in the comments if it's not one of these ideas what idea are you actually considering getting into and why? I would love to know. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up as it massively supports my channel and lets YouTube know that this type of content is valuable to users like you so that we can continue making this type of content and reaching aspiring fashion business owners because that is my goal here on this channel. So again, like this video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all fashionpreneurs in the next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,